Have you ever wondered why some people can handle frustration better than others? It's a burning question that many of us have pondered, especially in those exasperating moments when patience seems to elude us. Frustration, that inevitable human emotion, can feel like a formidable adversary, one that often leaves us feeling powerless and overwhelmed. But what if we told you there's a way to wrestle with this beast, to tame it, or even better, to turn it into a friend? Enter Stoicism, the ancient philosophy hailing from the heart of Greece, with its roots deeply entrenched in the wisdom of the great minds of the past. This video is a journey, a journey to explore 10 profound lessons from Stoicism that promise to equip you with the tools to handle frustration. So, strap in, open your minds and hearts to a philosophy over 2,000 years old. What if the secret to overcoming frustration lies in the ancient philosophy of Stoicism? Let's find out together. Stoicism and ancient Greek philosophy offers a powerful approach to dealing with frustration. This philosophy, founded by Zeno of Citium in the 3rd century BC, has been a beacon of wisdom, guiding individuals through life's tumultuous waves with its profound insights. Stoicism is anchored in four cardinal virtues, wisdom, courage, justice and temperance. Each virtue plays a crucial role in managing frustration. Wisdom, for instance, helps us discern what is within our control and what isn't, preventing us from wasting energy on things beyond our reach. Courage, on the other hand, empowers us to face adversities head-on instead of succumbing to frustration. Justice encourages us to treat others with fairness and understanding even when situations are frustrating. This virtue reminds us that everyone is fighting their own battles and reacting with frustration might only add to their burdens. Lastly, temperance, the virtue of self-restraint, helps us keep our emotions in check, preventing frustration from spiraling out of control. Stoicism also emphasizes the concept of amor fati, or love of fate. This principle encourages us to embrace whatever life throws at us, even the frustrations. Instead of resisting, Stoics believe in accepting these situations, seeing them as opportunities for growth and character development. The Stoics also practiced negative visualization, a mental technique where they imagined worst-case scenarios. This practice might seem pessimistic at first glance, but it's actually a powerful tool for managing frustration. By visualizing worst-case scenarios, we are better prepared to handle them if they do occur, reducing the shock and frustration. Remember the words of the renowned Stoic philosopher Epictetus. People are disturbed not by things, but by the views they take of them. This quote encapsulates the essence of Stoicism's approach to handling frustration. It's not the events themselves that cause frustration, but our perception of them. Stoicism teaches us that we have control over our reactions, even when we cannot control the events around us. Consider the parable of the archer. A master of his craft, the archer takes careful aim, his arrow pointed straight at the heart of the target. His focus is unwavering, his posture perfect, his grip steady. He releases the arrow, expecting it to hit the bull's eye. But sometimes the wind interferes, blowing the arrow off course. Does the archer get frustrated? No, he understands that the wind, just like many aspects of life, is beyond his control. What he can control, however, is his aim, his technique, his preparation. The archer's wisdom lies in his acceptance of this truth. Life, like archery, is about aiming for perfection while acknowledging the role of uncontrollable elements. It's about focusing on what we can control and letting go of what we can't. Like the archer, we can aim for perfection, but must accept that we cannot control everything. Now let's ponder on the lesson of the olive tree. Picture this, an olive tree standing tall and resilient in the harshest of climates. It's not just surviving, but thriving. The tree isn't merely existing, it's flourishing, even under the scorching sun, the biting cold, or the relentless wind. This is the lesson of the olive tree. It's a testament to the power of resilience, the strength that comes from within. And this, my friends, is the essence of Stoicism. It's not about avoiding hardships or running from adversity. Quite the contrary, Stoicism teaches us to embrace these challenges, to use them as tools for growth. Like the olive tree, we can learn to stand firm in the face of adversity, to grow stronger with each challenge we face. It is not the easy times that define us, but the difficult ones. 
Like the olive tree, we can choose to thrive, not despite adversity, but because of it. Let's delve into the tale of the Stoic slave. In the heart of the Roman Empire, there was a man named Epictetus. Born into the bonds of slavery, he was not blessed with freedom or privilege. Yet he was endowed with something more powerful, a resilient spirit and a thirst for knowledge. Epictetus was not an ordinary slave. In the midst of his servitude, he found an opportunity to learn, and he seized it. His master, recognizing his intellectual prowess, allowed him to study Stoic philosophy. This was a turning point in Epictetus' life, a flicker of light in the seemingly perpetual darkness of his existence. Through Stoicism, Epictetus discovered an empowering truth. While he couldn't control his external circumstances, he could control his internal responses. He understood that he had the power to transform his adversity into an opportunity for growth. It was this realization that helped him endure the harsh realities of his life with grace and dignity. Epictetus never allowed his circumstances to define him. Instead, he chose to define his circumstances. His life was not about his chains, but about the freedom of his mind. He once said, It's not what happens to you, but how you react to it that matters. In the face of hardship, he chose not bitterness, but wisdom, not despair, but hope. Eventually, Epictetus gained his freedom. But his greatest liberation was not from his physical chains, but from the chains of his mind. He went on to become a revered philosopher, sharing the wisdom of Stoicism with the world. His teachings continue to inspire millions today, reminding us of the power of perspective and the strength of the human spirit. Epictetus, the Stoic slave, teaches us a profound lesson. Life will present us with trials and tribulations. We may not have control over these external factors, but we always have control over how we respond to them. Epictetus shows us that we can choose how to respond to our circumstances, no matter how challenging they may be. So, what can we learn from these stories? Let's take a step back and look at the bigger picture. The Stoics, through their teachings, offer us valuable lessons on how to navigate the stormy seas of life. They urge us to accept what we can't control, thrive in adversity, and choose our responses. These lessons, when applied, can help us handle frustration with grace and resilience. Consider the archer. He aims, he shoots, but once the arrow leaves the bow, he has no control over its path. Similarly, in life, we can aim for our goals, work towards them, but the final outcome is often beyond our control. Accepting this reality can liberate us from unnecessary frustration. Now think about the olive tree. Despite the harsh conditions, it flourishes, standing tall and strong. It doesn't complain about the rocky soil or the scorching sun. Instead, it thrives in adversity, reminding us that we too can grow and prosper, no matter how challenging our circumstances. And then there's the stoic slave who, despite his unfortunate circumstances, chose to respond with wisdom and tranquility. He didn't allow external events to disturb his inner peace. He teaches us that we have the power to choose our responses, to either let frustration consume us or to use it as a catalyst for personal growth. Bringing these lessons together, Stoicism offers a simple yet profound wisdom. Life will always present challenges, but it's how we respond to these challenges that ultimately shapes our experience. It encourages us to shift our focus from what's going wrong to how we can make it right, from what's out of our control to what's within our control. In the face of frustration, we can choose to be like the archer, the olive tree, or the stoic slave. We can accept our circumstances, thrive in adversity, and choose our responses wisely. Remember, like the archer, the olive tree, and the stoic slave, we have the power to handle frustration no matter what life throws at us.